Hello and welcome back to part 12 of my journey towards my Bachelor's of Science Information Technology degree from Western Governors University. So today's video is all about principles of management, which is class number C483. So this past week I was able to complete this class and uh, the whole point of today's video is I'm just going to tell you how I uh, passed this class and give you some hints and tips. Now, first of all, there's two ways to look at this uh, class. There's a lot of material. Now, you can get really stuck into the material and read all about it and read all the different examples. And that may, may be something that really interests you. But I'm all about trying to do what it takes to pass the exam. You know, I'm trying to uh, expediate my process of getting my exam. So that's kind of what I did. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. So the main class itself is broken into four main areas. And I'm going to explain to you those what they are really quickly. The first one is management versus leadership, which is about 10 percent of the assessment. Uh, the next part is process skills for managers, which is 34%. Uh, people management skills for managers is 40%. And then finally, communication skills for managers is 16%. So as you can tell, the material and what you're assessed on is really heavily focused between those two middle ones, process skills for managers and people management skills for managers. So, so really, if you're looking to pass the test quickly, those are the two that you really want to focus on. So, as always, the first thing you should do when you start this class is take the pre-assessment. Um, I did that. I didn't pass, but I did pretty good. I was close, but, you know, not enough to actually get the, the green mark. Uh, there were some areas I really needed to focus on, and those were highlighted in the coaching report. So, for me, that's what I did. I went into those areas. I uh, read up the sections I needed work on, um, and then really kind of made sure I, was, I understood thoroughly those areas. Um the other thing I did was because there's four main areas, uh, when you get to the uh, content for the, the, the uh, material content, um, the different units are broken down for you. So you can basically look through each uh, unit and then you can test the end of unit tests and then the, um, the modules within the unit, you can test on those as well. And that's what I really focused on. So read some of the material that I wasn't sure about, but really focused on the unit test and the module test and then basically made sure any questions I got wrong, I kind of looked up, made sure I understood. So that, that's what I did. So I made sure I kind of got good scoring results before I moved on. Once I did that, I went ahead and then redid, redid the pre-assessment just to make sure um, everything had stuck. And I, I, I did much better, actually. got a really good score. So I was kind of felt at that point I was uh, ready to take the actual objective assessment. So before I get to that part, and uh, I want to give you some key areas, additional areas I really think you need to focus on. So some of the topics that you need to really understand for these final exam is things like uh, the big five personality traits and what those are, uh, communication types, the differences between leaders and managers and the roles that they um, they hold and the responsibility they hold within the, an organization, um, goal planning, uh, inter versus intra and what that means. So interpersonal, uh, inter a group. Um, intrapersonal, intra-group, yeah, and uh, what that means and how they kind of work together. That's important. Uh, there's some operational strategy stuff you need to look at and the steps for those. Operations management uh, is important as well. And the key areas that make up operations management, there's like seven or eight areas there. Uh, perception and conflict uh, resolution is also quite important in this particular class. So uh, make sure you read up about that. Um, SWOT analysis, which is... Uh, a really important part of the class again as well. So SWOT stands for strength, weakness, opportunity, and threats, and how that kind of works with your business. Uh, know uh, know um, what those mean and, and how to re recognize it in a question. And then most of all, the most important thing I can tell you is about SMART goals. So those who haven't uh, or don't know what a SMART goal is, it's an acronym. And basically SMART stands for a, um, a, a specific, uh, measurable, achievable, realistic and time bound and basically there's a lot of questions both in the pre-assessment and the final that kind of they they set a scenario for you and then they ask you to say uh based on smart goals which which scenario is this and you kind of say oh it's achievable it's time bound or it's realistic um, so it's important that you understand it it's not that difficult really but it's, it's just a lot of reading and studying so the class itself um like I said, is just acronyms, terminology, some of these key areas, and a lot of memorization. So uh, in this particular scenario, again, 
uh, Quizlet is your friend. There's a whole bunch of sets out there and I'll put some links to the ones that I use. But you do need to memorize all these different terms and what they mean because, uh, you, you know, it's, it's a huge part of the actual final exam. So the objective or final exam is uh, 70 questions long. Uh, they give you three hours. It is multiple choice. Um, I found that the uh, objective assessment was considerably harder than the pre-assessment. Sometimes that's not always the case, but, but definitely here. There were some questions that I hadn't seen before. So uh, in the end, I had to do you know, the old educated guess, basically break them down to two possibles and then based on you know, the question, try to make a make the right make the right choice. Um, I did pass the class, like I said, I did really well. I didn't get um, I didn't get exemplary, but I was probably only a question or two off it, looking at the report. So that that's good. Um, so that means I knew a little bit more than I realised, or I'm just a really good guesser. But I passed, and I'm glad it's out of the way. So this particular class, interestingly, is worth four credit units, uh, which is more than most. Most of them are free. So uh, I don't know why it's worth four, but it is. Um, it's very doable to do it in a week, especially with uh, previous working experience in any kind of corporate environment. And, or if you have been a manager or a leader before, or if you've read a book recently on that kind of uh, management leadership styles, I think you'll be fine. Um, those who haven't, just make sure you dig into the material and really kind of those areas that you're struggling with, just make sure you test yourself on. So... Doable, uh, certainly I took maybe 20 hours total of study time. Uh, Saturday was a big day for me. As always, I got up early, looked through the material, retested myself and then took the final. For me, that works the best because um, I really feel like I'm a kind of a crammer type of studier. And uh, so I was able to get the material in my short term memory and then take the test. Uh, for some reason, if I wait a couple of days, it's probably gone, especially if I don't use it regularly. Um, I guess I'm getting old or oh, I don't have a very good memory. So anyway, that's it for this particular class. Like I said, not the uh, most enjoyable class, but certainly one that you can knock out fairly quickly and certainly um, a great example of competency-based um, education from Western Governors University because you can get through this one quite quickly. So let me give you an update on my term process. Some people have been asking me how I'm doing. Uh, so far, I with this particular class, I am 47% through my degree plan, which... Uh, Bearing in mind I'm on term one, um, I'm looking pretty good to be able to complete my degree in two terms, which will be awesome. So about, you know, we are under a year from starting, so that, that's my plan. Uh, 64 credit units left, so it kind of gives you an idea where I am. So uh, I am still working on a comp two, which I started last week. It's a research paper and it's taking me a little bit of time just trying to find the, uh, the, the put the minutes into to, to be able to write that. I've also started the uh, very first kind of like scripting class, which for me is... Just give me a second, I'll tell you what it is. Scripting Foundations, I believe it's called. Uh, scripting and Programming Foundations, sorry, which is uh, free credit hours, which I'm, you know, I just started on that today and it looks, it looks quite interesting. So that's all I have for today. Hope everybody's doing really well, keeping healthy, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.